Hello, and welcome back to Blue Collar Watches. This is the only watch I bought during the 11.11 sale on AliExpress. This is called the Tandorio Wave Stripe. I'll put a picture in here later comparing this to the, this is a homage to a Grand Seiko. It's actually not a bad looking little watch. And I think I paid $46 for this. I'm always blown away with the quality of Tandorio watches and the cost. I mean, when you, if you're interested in a Tandorio watch, throw it in your cart, wait for a sale. It's going to go on sale. Collect your coins. I've always been able to use my coins, save an extra couple dollars. But for $46, this is a pretty cool looking little watch. Let's get into the dimensions of it. Oh, 316L stainless steel, sapphire crystal, flat sapphire. Steel case back. The band on this, it's okay. Uh, considering the price point of the watch, I'm going to keep this band on here. And I'm not usually a leather band type of guy, but for $46, it's a fairly decent band. And it, I don't know if that's glued together. Maybe there is a seam in there to where it is glued together, but it's a fairly decent band for the price point of the watch. Okay, make sure I'm zeroed here. We have a thickness of 12.1. This band is 20 millimeter, I believe. Yep, 20 millimeter band. Diameter of 39. Lug to lug we have. Forty-seven and a half. It does have loom, but the one thing I will say about these Tandorio watches, I have not yet to receive one with decent loom on them. The loom pretty much sucks on these. But it does have loom. And the dial looks pretty spot on. Well, I shouldn't say spot on because I have never held a Grand Seiko in my hands. They're $6,000. <laughs> but the dial is very similar to what the real Grand Seiko is. The batons, the hands, uh, pretty similar. I'm going to throw a side-by-side -side photo that I created of the Tandorio beside a Grand Seiko right here. And also throw in the loom shot. So here we go with this loom shot on my latest Tandorio. My expectations are rather low. I've purchased Tandorio watches in the past, and the loom has been, it's been loom. Nothing exceptional, nothing great. Here we go. And again, it's rather bright in this room, but. It has loom. I don't expect that that's going to last very long. They put cheap loom on their watches. So as you can see from that photo, it does mimic the Grand Seiko. It's nowhere near. This does have an NH35 in it. I have taken these Tandorio watches apart previously, and they are built under license NH35. Relatively nice movement considering the price point of the watch. And I still don't know how Tandorio is doing it. I really don't. I mean, this is, this is a pretty decent watch for the price point. And I always say I'm done with them. And then they come out with something else. And I think, man, I like that. And I end up buying it. But I really like the textured dial on this. You know, applied batons. Let me zoom in on that. See if we don't get... I don't think there's any AR coating on that because my desk light is really lighting that up. But that dial is really cool. And I have paid more for watches on AliExpress and not got the same quality. Oh, this does have a screwed on crown. It says it, uh, it's 20 bar of atmosphere of water resistance. I would never, ever in a million years trust that on any AliExpress watch. But... Has a screwed on crown. And the water raining on all these AliExpress watches, I don't trust it. But this is the Tandorio Wave Strike. I believe it's still on sale. When I was on, I left a review on this and I think it still said it was $46.
$46 and some change. And if you're just looking for a semi-dressy looking beater watch, here you go. Love this brand. You can also get this with a stir all dial. It'll just say automatic on the bottom instead of Tandorio. And I really think Tandorio should do away with the name and just go with their symbol. I think they would look better with just using that logo here up top versus the name on all their watches. But it's a cool watch. All right, that's it. Amazing.